In this video, we're going to be investigating non-vascular plants. Put in parentheses here is bryophytes. This is a classification of plants that we might commonly refer to as mosses. They're uh, more scientifically called bryophytes. They're considered very early or primitive plants. We're going to talk about why that is. So to start with, the reason why we say they're primitive is they're not too far away from green algae in our cladogram here. They are considered to be the first successful land plants and have no vascular system. As a result, the maximum size of the plant is greatly limited because all materials have to be transported by diffusion and osmosis. Even under ideal growing conditions, you'll see mosses are very short. Uh, they don't get very tall because they don't have this vascular system and everything has to go through the process of diffusion and osmosis, and this limits their overall height that they can get. So remember, diffusion is the net movement of molecules from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. See here with the food dye in the bottle, uh, since diffusing throughout, if we came back a couple days later, this would all hopefully be a consistent blue color when everything diffused through the water, in this case, in the bottle. To give you another example of that, here's high concentration. We see it going to low concentration over time to the point that the molecules on the top and bottom side will equal one another. And this is the process of diffusion. Osmosis is a little different. Osmosis is the process by which molecules of a solvent tend to pass through a semi-permeable membrane from a less concentrated solution into a more concentrated one, resulting in equal concentrations on both sides of the membrane. We see that here. Here's our water. Here's our solvent molecules. Our solvent molecules can't pass through this semi-permeable membrane, but the water can, and that will result in a change in the water height here. Water molecules travel through this membrane, trying to even out on both sides, trying to make even concentrations on both sides. Osmosis, as we saw in um, red blood cells, we could see them causing the shrivel. Isotonic is when equal water is moving in and out, and hypotonic is when more water is coming in and going out. In red blood cells, they could lyse or break apart, and in hypertonic, think of it like making a pickle, you get that kind of shriveled look to it. And we see now we're talking about plants, kind of the translation of that, hypertonic situation we call plasmolysized in plants. Isotonic is called flaccid, and hypotonic is turgid. There's a lot of water here, a lot of water pressure. This can be important to hold plants upright. Talk about non-vascular plants or bryophytes. There's actually some other classifications. Liverworts, hornworts, and mosses. That's what a liverwort, hornwort, and moss looks like. I chose mosses. You're probably most familiar with that. But all of these um, pretty much lack a vascular system. Mosses has a very simple conducting tissue of soft strands, but for the most part, these are all considered non-vascular. The life cycle of a moss, uh, not to get into too much detail, the key part is because they are so low growing and again, transporting all their nutrients through diffusion osmosis, they need water transport. So if a moss dries out, they are unable to reproduce. They need that sperm being able to swim to the egg. This is why we typically see them in shaded regions or areas that tend to hold a lot of moisture in that case. Fertilization process is the same, sperm meeting egg, producing an embryo. Sporophytes developed, we see a female gametophyte and male gametophyte. These need to have a union between the two, they need to merge with one another with water present, and that will then form the fertilization process that forms the embryo that goes around. Uh, this is also, also involves a little bit of alternation of generations that can occur, um, which is in another video there. But the key part with mosses being so low and non-vascular, they typically are found in areas with high water content. 